I, I was not aiming at a presentation here because uh, uh, I just got a few slides uh, uh, to show on the next talk. Uh, unfortunately, just met her, couldn't uh, make it. Uh, and she asked me to flash uh, uh, something. So this is related to G-factor measurements. And, uh, and the idea is to combine, combine a magnet assembly with the LED array and uh, use uh, the fission asymmetry uh, to measure G-factors. So the LED array, as I said, uh, has a large volume germanium detectors, which are in good positions for such measurements. And then we can have uh, uh, a target, uh, uh, which is a multi-layer target of, uh, of uh, uh, uranium uh, coupled uh, to some uh, good hosts like iron or nickel <coughs> and this can be put in the field of, uh, of a permanent magnet. So there are measurements uh, which were done in Duke which show that uh, there is an angular distribution of the fragments in photofission uh, depending on the uh, fission energy and, and this can be used uh, to create asymmetry in the fragment distribution. And as I said, uh, with a permanent magnet, we ha can have uh, fields which uh, uh, polarize the uh, polarized, uh, uh, iron foils. And uh, then we, we in, the, in such a target, we can expect to have something like uh, 10 to the 5 fissions per second. Uh, and the fragment release will be uh, in the same or in a order less. Uh, so what, what one can do this uh, study, uh, of course, uh, isomers in the heavy and in the light, uh, uh, in the light uh, fragment. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, it's obvious uh, physics case and study the onset of deformation uh, beyond the N equal 82 shell single particle state in not mass nuclei and rotational bands built on nanosecond isomeric states. So there is a table of, uh, of isomers and uh, ener gamma ray energies uh, which uh, are found, are known in these isomers and which are accessible for such studies. And, uh, and this is the, and this is the uh, hyperfine fields in iron uh, for, for the, uh, for the, uh, elements of uh, interest uh, which makes such uh, a study feasible uh, and, and these are the lifetimes of some of the isomers uh, which can be accessed uh, and uh, then uh, we have studied or Jasmet has studied the uh, beam characteristics uh, so this is the beam spot which is expected to be at, uh, at, uh, at the position of uh, of such a setup, and uh, and this will be a typical energy distribution of the beam spot. So it has a very good cutoff. And uh, then she has also studied the fragment release. So this is the, the production in, a, say, three micron uh, uh, tick target. And this is the release of the fragments, which, uh, which are implanted in the host. And, uh, and uh, her overall conclusion is that uh, uh, such experiments are quite possible, or the, although they're uh, really very hard uh, to be done. Okay, this is what I okay. have, had to say, say on this.